Now we are handing over to Solomon. Solomon, um, your claim, as far as I could read, is uh, healthcare with mind. I was always hoping that someone who is taking care of my health is doing it with mind. So what's different on yours? Give, to, give Solomon a hand for a big applause and dive into AI and trias. Thank you very much. Yours. Thanks, Jan. So, uh, uh, I'm unable to present my uh, deck, so probably you need to make it a post so I can make the presentation and then stick along with that, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So we can click along again here from that side. You, you want to share it directly on the screen? Yeah. Okay, perfect. We can beautifully see it now. Okay, so uh, you know, one of the presentations and uh, the perspective from uh, from uh, uh, Noah and uh, Anand from the HDFC. I agree to hear a lot of stuff going on on their side. I think that is sort of the thing from a, uh, from a technology innovation standpoint. So, uh, trials is sort of going to try to the same. Uh, but rather than focusing on verticalization, we're looking at how we can get technology to the base of the uh, healthcare industry and to that effect, the patient and doctor, which is the core of the healthcare. So, how can we sort of enable platforms such as electronic health record and HMIS to be able to get the right kind of data that is meaningful and usable? Because today's EHR, when we call it digital, it's not about just capturing sort of pictures and then using that for future references. So how can we collect the data and give meaningful insights for better medical outcome? So that's what we're trying to do and our work in the system. It's called trial help the doctor to capture the information in a meaningful manner. Uh, if you look at uh, the overall uh, focus in terms of the uh, UN sustainable development of the 17 goal, the first goal is the uh, health. And well being. So, to that effect, rather than trying to boil the ocean, what we uh, are focusing on is building a solid institution specifically for the mental health and the women and child. And these are two areas that are very, very critical, specifically in the aftermath of the COVID. COVID. Mental health is such a big you know, uh, focus. And when we looked at the clinicians using digital solutions on the mental health side, showing now not uh, uh, able to provide the right kind of insight. So we focus on these two areas. And coming back home, you know, we look at the National Digital Health Mission, which is requested as you know, the Aishman Bharat Digital Mission, really focuses and provides the emphasis that for us to build the right kind of health infrastructure and enable better outcomes, both on the clinician clinician side and on the location side, we need to have the right kind of infrastructure at the base level. And that's what we're trying to do, both in terms of you know, getting the electronic health record from a doctor's standpoint, as well as the patient record for the uh, patients. And if you look at the broad presence of the healthcare ecosystem, it all starts from the person being unwell, and then they end up taking medications or the best provided by the doctor. Now, unless and until this simple ecosystem of the base structure, is sophisticated in terms of digitalization, then the aspects of all of the AI that we are you know, carrying on the virtualization sort of depends on not population data, but really sample data. And then the insight that it might give may not be really you know, a full proof and the impact that it create. So, what we said was our platform essentially needs to focus on the base, which is the doctor's office. And our base platform has a patient app, we have a doctor app, and then we have an electronic health record, which, uh, which is built with this uh, uh, virtual system. So if you look at the broad uh, health link that we are talking about, we are focusing right now on three broad areas, the telemedicine, diagnostic, and you know, the prescription, and our platform for the mental health and then the human and the child is really enabling the various doctors to be able to get the right kind of accessibility for our patients as well as enabling the doctors to 
get the right kind of insight and being able to type not as well as providing the right kind of investigation based on interaction, etc. So deep diving on the mental health is where I would like to focus upon is to look at the market size, very, very large, based on you know, substance abuse, which are uh, specifically focused on you know, uh, uh, disorders, uh, bipolar, anxiety, depression. And again, this issue is not focused on a particular age. It is agnostic right from children to corporate to be on the age, to be a senior or a baby. So to that effect, keeping in mind the ethos of enabling the uh, doctor, doctors to be able to have the right kind of solution, because today in India, we have one psychiatric for about 200,000 patients. So, and if you look at the uh, challenges of the mental health, you have the physical health of patients who end up meeting after 5 to 10 minutes in max 15 minutes. So, for a mental health, it takes about an hour minimum because it takes that much of notes taking, that much of your history taking for them to be able to provide the right kind of assessment. So, a platform like us, where this solution is listens into the conversation of the doctor and helps the doctor accurately document these aspects. Now the doctor is able to focus on having eye to eye contact with the patient, listening to the patient's history rather than having to do a whole lot of documentation. Now from that perspective, one of the key areas also from a mental health standpoint is to provide a lot of assessment tools because it's diagnostic and the specific diagnosis on the mental health really depends upon history plus a lot of assessment and tools and skills. And what our tool provides them is a digital way of doing the uh, note taking and providing instant assessment and outcome so that they're able to now reduce the number of the number of meetings that they, they have to do with the uh, patients. Through uh, telling uh, health, the stigma of assessment, the uh, self help uh, through chatbot is something that we're enabling so that we're able to get more patients to be able to access doctor therapy or to self help uh, you know, implementations. Our platform, uh, you know, the credentials covers end to end, right from the patient being able to access the doctor to the uh, access to the uh, extended modules like psychotherapy, rehabilitation, speech therapy, and so on and so forth. So that it is not just about enabling the clinician. But the patient, the end to end life cycle of their mental health well being is sort of structured in the, in the platform. And we have seen over the last, uh, you know, five, six months of implementation with uh, various uh, physicians, there is an impact of close to 50% of uh, time reducing on their you know, note taking. They feel much, uh, much secure in terms of the data because they basically the past used to a lot of note taking, bunch of papers that they used to. Sometimes getting lost, patients coming after multiple years, you know, having to have, you know, take care of those accessibility of the information, are going to find the rest. From that perspective, the platform that we have is quite integral and enables the doctor not only to save time but also have the record in the right kind of uh, you know storage platforms. We've been in the market for about you know six months, we've had one large collaboration with one very large uh, hospital with about a million uh, you know, patients that are based in Bangalore. We have a collaboration with one large pharma company for specializing on the infertility, uh, again, based on the women and health, like I mentioned. So we have specialized for about you know, 60 centers of IVF across uh, India. We have two uh, NGOs. So one of the key aspects, specifically in India, three fourths of the population is in the uh, rural area. So for us to have access to providing the impact, we need to go to the your NGO. And I talked about uh, one of the big impact that we have created in North uh, Africa for the uh, women and child. You know, the mental health, we have a collaboration in, in Kerala where we have provided our platform for them to be able to you know, reach out to much more you know, uh, patients across uh, Kerala. So, just a simple you know, snapshot the power of the data. You know, we have one of these uh, NGOs who go very, very deep inside in rural areas in a mobile van and provide medications. And through our platform now, they're able to structure, they're able to capture the right kind of data, get the right kind of vitals of you know our children, and now we focus on specific interventions for needy children, as against blanketly providing you know, intervention across you know all of you know, all of the children and stuff. So clearly we see that 
enabling uh, digital solution which is easy to use by the clinician at the core of or the base of the uh, healthcare system not only enables to collect a huge amount of data but that provides insights that what your doctor Anand was mentioning to providing you know AI based interventions using this kind of data is going to be the you know the future right uh, so uh, we are excited to be a part of the big bet. We raised one, you know, one round of uh, uh, fund, and we were able to you know, provide the MVP and in fact uh, close to about hundred plus couple. We were able to second round plus to be able to scale up, you know, in the next uh, uh, year, year and a half, you know, as such. The team of people, uh, you know, small team of uh, technology uh, intervention, but the uh, medical input which is a great child for mental health. Very well known across India as well as in the world, is providing the work along with technology enthusiasts to build the right kind of your platform for the mental health and uh, pieces. Uh, that's basically a uh, brief about the interventions and how we talk to each Well, Solomon, thank you very much, and I think he deserves a big applause. Thank you, Solomon, for that. And uh, actually, maybe you should look uh, on my screen down to the left because I see Lena there, and they've got a moonshot section. I think you're t we're talking about a moonshot. You're asking for a second round of investment, so maybe there's something possible. Uh, Lena, can, can Solomon just call you up and check out if there's any possibility to collaborate with you? Yes, he can, for sure. So, but, but it sounds like uh, it's, it's focused on uh, the mental health, but, but mental health is unfortunately also very much linked to diabetes. So it could be that even an extension of your reach to be moving towards the other diabetes. So beautiful. Thank you, Lena, for that answer. And while we're talking here in this virtual world, I'm turning over and walking down just down the room here because a man is sitting down there. Uh, you might have seen him all around. This is Father Noel. It's bread. It's bread. Ah, yeah. Why, why did I walk down here? Because there's Father Noel from Don Bosco. And uh, of course, they are very connected to the NGOs there. And I saw on your slide that uh, you're already cooperating. So if anyone wants to reach out to Solomon and to the network of people who are really using these appliances, just get in contact. And Father Noel, you want to say a word about that? So uh, Breds is one of our partners in the Don Bosco network and they are already partnering with them. But we do have uh, uh, work for children who are not really having mental health problems but uh, who come from very vulnerable backgrounds and we need to do always a lot of counseling. And in 72 cities in India, Don Bosco network is working for so-called street children, we don't call them, but from vulnerable backgrounds. So. Uh, definitely, we need this kind of support uh, where we can look at mental health of these children because we would like to shape their future in the right way and bring them to normal life stream. So we would like to look at a partnership and collaboration with you sometime. Yeah. Thanks, uh, for the In fact, the uh, example that I spoke about the uh, relationship, the collaboration that we have with the Nambos Red is after that time, we will work along with the Joy. Absolutely, you know, we have to complete the program specifically on uh, you know, getting the children up to mark in terms of uh, their health. But keeping in mind the uh, amount of uh, doctors on the medical health that we have and to the deliveries and stuff that we have, clearly that is something that we can, you know, get success of getting forward. So thank you very much, Solomon. And this is all about uh, enabling co collaboration for sustainability. Thanks for you being on screen virtually with us.